Hello everyone, I'm Dad in Games, and as you remember, in the last video, I proved that creating your own Minecraft server is not only very fast but also easy. Have you ever thought about having a personal server where you can install your own mod pack and play on it without any problems? Well, today I will show you how to do it completely for free. We'll use the free hosting service Eternos. If you like my explanations, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and ring the bell. And guys, I already have extensive experience using this hosting service, so if you have any questions or problems, feel free to write about them in the comments. I'll be happy to help you. Now, let's get to the topic of the video. First, to avoid any confusion later on, the first thing we need to do is install Forge on your computer. So, let's get to it. There are many sites where you can download the Forge core directly. In this video, we'll be downloading from this site. The link will be in the description. We need to select the version of the core for our server. We can install the latest version, but keep in mind that not all mods support the latest version. So if you want your mods to work, I recommend choosing an older version, like 1.20 or 1.19. In this video, I'll install the latest version of Forge because I already have mods in mind that support the newest version of Minecraft. Now, this is very important. When downloading the Forge version, there will be additional numbers next to the version. These are very important. That's why I started the video with this, as these numbers need to match the numbers when installing the core on Eternos. After we have installed Forge on the computer, we need to unpack it. This is very simple and won't take much time. Just open the file. It will automatically find your Minecraft folder, so there's no need to change the download path. Just install the core. After installation, we can freely move on to the next step. This is even easier. Choose a trusted site with mods and find the mods you need. To make it clearer, I'll show you an example. For instance, let's take the mod called Just Enough Items. Install the mod with the same version as our Forge core. After installing the mods on our computer, enter the command percent app data percent. I recommend remembering this command as it will be useful in the future. Then go to the Minecraft folder, Mods, and drag your downloaded mods there. That's it. Very easy and fast. As an example, I installed just one mod, but if you want to install a whole mod pack, the process is exactly the same. You just install as many mods as you want and transfer them to this folder. Now we are ready to move on to the next step. After we have installed everything we need on the computer, we can proceed to install it on our Eterno server. I won't show the registration process on Eternos, but if you're a beginner, I recommend watching my previous video where I explained it clearly. It's very useful and will take you only four minutes. Now, let's continue. We'll start with installing the core on the server. As I mentioned, there are two cores for mods, Forge and Fabric. In this video, we are creating a server using the Forge core. So, we chose the core and see some strange numbers next to it. These are the numbers I asked you to remember to avoid an installation problems. That's why we first installed Forge on the computer, so you can choose the correct version on the site. After choosing the necessary version, we can move on to the next step. After selecting the server core for mods, our plugin section will change to the mods section, where we will install all the necessary mods. But there is one problem you might face. Having used Eternos for about six years, I can say that you probably won't be able to install all the mods you want on your server, as this hosting has a limited number of mods. Also, you might face the problem of the absence of a suitable mod version for your server. Don't be discouraged. This can happen too. In such cases, you'll have to either change your server version or wait until these mods get updated on this hosting. But I have a great suggestion for you. If you're tired of all these limitations and want to have your own server, independent of free hostings that restrict you, I'm going to make a video soon where I'll explain in detail how to easily create your server on your computer. This server will work as long as your computer is running and you won't be dependent on any limitations. So, subscribe to this channel because here I will be sharing all the interesting and important information for you quickly, easily, and clearly. Installing mods is easy and fast, very similar to installing plugins. Enter the required mod, find it, select the version, and install it. Do this for each mod. After installing the mods, we can move on to the next step. This is the final step. 
We go to the main server page and click the Start button. When your server starts, we go to the launcher and choose the Forge version that we specifically installed on the computer. Then we launch Minecraft and join our server. And that's it. Everything works. You can freely enjoy your server. If you liked this guide and everything I explained in this video was clear, I ask you to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, write about them in the comments and I will definitely respond. Thank you for watching, good luck, and see you next time.